Okay, I'm going to do a quick video on uh, making up a quick cable connection with the uh, manual hammer. Um, not sure if we're going to get close enough, but we'll give it a try. And uh, you can see all the tools we have. We have the torch, we have the wire cutters, we have the nice big sledgehammer, a knife for cutting the uh, plastic coating off the wires. The old flywheel used for a um, hard platform for the for the hammer crimp and a couple crimps and we're going to get started here. I'm going to go ahead and focus in. Here we have a hammer crimp. Just a manual hammer crimp. Lift it up, flip drop down into the slot. Pretty simple. You can lock it in, hold it in place, drops back down. Hopefully I'm keeping this in the field of view of the camera. Pretty simple, holds a lot of different sizes. We're using the 2 aught, and we've got a little end piece here. Just drop it in place. We drop this down, and it just holds it right in place. Really simple. Uh, this little guy is pretty much ready to rock and roll. Uh, get the wire done. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and trim our cable. A little bit of cable here, actually quite a bit, but I don't want to cut it short to size because it kind of pulls the wire from the inside, so we'll leave it long, trim the edge, and crimp one end. Take our trusty little Stanley knife and trim back about the distance. one of the lugs and sorry about the shadows here in this picture so we just go back just a little ways not a, not a lot so I don't like to leave anything hanging so we take the knife slightly trim around the outside edge not too deep just enough to just cut Pull this around and you can see there's a coating underneath it. You just trim it right around. Some of these wires have paper, some of them have plastic internal coating. Uh, some of my cables have the internal coating. But as you can see, nice clean trim cut. I didn't cut any of the wires. Just about the right fit for inside. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and crimp so this will fit right on top. Grab the crimper one more time. Got my lug in place. All I do is just slide carefully. Make sure all the wire fits. Sometimes you might have to give it a quick little squeeze and twist. Slide that little puppy in there. As you can see, it's just nice and sliding. Now we got a nice big four-pound sledgehammer right here. This thing does wonders. I'm going to bring this out so it's nice, nice and flat. Four real good, a, a few good whacks on this with this hammer, and does a good, real good job on the crimping. And we can crimp from either side, whichever you prefer. And so today I'm going to crimp from the top side here, and we're going to get this hammer. One, two, three. And that's it for this one. We didn't need to go anymore. And it's done. Take the machine off, take the crimp off. And as you can see, there's a nice, nice clean. And these are solid. I've done these before, and I've cut them in half. And these are real solid crimps and I've had no trouble with them whatsoever. Yeah, I just wanted to give another quickie uh, little look at that crimp a little bit closer up since this is uh, not a super zoom on this camera but that's pretty good. So anyway there's a quickie and we're just going to back away. Now we're going to trim the, trim the plastic uh, shrink wrap, put the shrink wrap on, 
and um, shrink it up good using the little using my torch. Nice little torch tool rather than getting a heat gun. Uh, thing has worked wonders and I'm glad I didn't bother with the heat gun. The torch did an excellent job. Just keep it, keep the flame away enough to uh, let it get hot not and not uh, burn the plastic shrink wrap and you're good to go. So okay again when you're down here we're gonna do a shrink wrap. Uh, got red shrink wrap and I've got black. The black we're going to use because it's negative. The problem is that the black I only have the El Cheapo shrink wrap. Uh, I've used up all my good stuff and I highly recommend the good thick stuff with the glue. Um, we're just going to double we're going to double this up and I'm going to do it twice for each end just to give it a little thicker uh, shrink wrap. So again we'll cut, but this time we'll cut this time we'll cut a bit So cover the cover the lug and cover part of the wire. And all you do is just cut a piece, slide it on, and there it is. It's just sitting there. Pretty big, but believe me, shrinks down good. And then we got our little torch here. Um, wonderful little machine. On demand, just push the button and the fires let go, it shuts off. Real safe, real simple. Just hold this little thing together. Apply some heat. Watch that little thing shrink right up. Go around all the sides. Shrink that on there. And there you have a nice, real nice shrink wrap. So, I'm going to double this one up. Actually, you know, actually I'm just going to leave it. That looks pretty good. We're just going to go with that. So now what I need to do is I need to measure for my little machine over here on uh, the distance that we need to go. And this is going to be a cable that goes from my shunt to my motor negative for, for getting motor amps. Yeah, so we're just going to do a very short piece but I need it long enough so it goes around. And we're going to bring it up here, get a little bit of close up here. So there's my little thing right here. And so now I just kind of need to get an average of, of the size that I need. So I'm going to bring this around. So the cable's, the cable's going to be in a really funky position, so I'm going to give myself about a foot or so. Maybe a little bit longer. And we're pretty much ready to mount this little puppy back up and then just hook all the rest of the wires. But for now, um, unfortunately, I have to go to work. And there's my little video clip on how to do crimping for your wires for your car. Plus a little extra info there, but yeah, again, again, you can see all the good parts and uh, use them. It's not that expensive, a little laborious, but that's okay, and I'd prefer to do it myself anyway.